In this video, we present a new two-sided interactive touch table. The table is capable of accepting input from both the top and bottom surfaces. Using a two-sided touch table offers several advantages over traditional tabletops. By registering the top and bottom touch surfaces with a projected display, we are able to extend the input area of a traditional touch table while maintaining a direct touch input paradigm. Because touches on the bottom surface do not include the display, it is possible to point more precisely using the bottom of the table than it is using the top. In addition to enabling full sets of interactions on both the top and bottom of the table, the placement of the hands can have meaning to the system. Both on top, both on the bottom, or separated between the two can have different semantic implications. By allowing input to the top and bottom surfaces, we allow both hands to interact with the same area simultaneously. Also enabled is simultaneous interaction to the same area by multiple users. By manual interference is also reduced by moving one hand below the table. This lack of occlusion also makes it easier for multiple participants to share the table. Restricting disruptive input to the bottom of the table reduces the chance of errors when performing conversational gestures, a common problem for touch table interaction. Semantic separation of functionality between table surfaces can enable intuitive moding of direct touch input. Here, input to the bottom surface is moded for rotation and translation. Input to the top surface is for model building and painting. In this map browsing application, the hand above the table defines the region for a layered overlay. The user can zoom the overlay by gesturing under the table. Also controlled under the table is the position of focus of the zoom window. Our two paddle version of the classic Pong demonstrates the value of separating two handed input between the surfaces. The asymmetric by manual control of the paddles would not be possible on a regular touch table. By adding a second touch surface to the bottom of the table, we have offered a new dimension of affordances to touch table interaction. We believe that under the table interaction offers a promising avenue for future development.